in college football. Pointing toward a possible trip to New Orleans, the Sooners are eyeing another shot at their second national title in the last four years. With a tenacious defense, game breakers on offense, and armed with a Heisman-like quarterback that strikes quickly and often, OU could be staring at the Big 12 South crown. But there's a problem. Pistol whip two straight years by their in-state rivals from Stillwater. The Cowboys celebrations have cursed the Sooners seasons. This year, with only one blemish on their record, OSU has a stable of horses that can run with anyone and hope to corral OU a third straight time. Bedlam in the Big 12 is next. Rashawn Woods has been a scary sight to OU fans the last two years. But on this holiday weekend, it's time the Sooners feel that they'll have the tricks and the treats when the day is over. But they've got a major obstacle in their path. Down from I-35 come the Cowboys of Oklahoma State against the top-ranked team in the land. Welcome to the BCS Spotlight Game presented by ADT. It's number 14 Oklahoma State against the top-ranked team in the country here in Norman. As you take a look, at the BCS standings brought to you by Allstate, you see Oklahoma sits alone on top. Miami plays Virginia Tech later tonight. Nebraska has lost today to Texas. Oklahoma State in the number 14 spot as you take a look at the rankings. In the Big 12 South, Oklahoma unblemished. Fourth straight year, they are 8-0 to start the season, but the last two years they've lost to Oklahoma State, who lost to Nebraska in the game we did to open the season, but they now have won seven in a row. Welcome to Norman, everybody. I'm Brad Nestle. We've got a nice day, rain earlier. Now we've got sunshine for the 98th renewal of Bedlam in the Big 12. And you're not going to get a lot of argument around here from people saying this is the biggest game ever in the history of this rivalry. As both coaches, Les Miles and Bob Stoops, won their game in week eight last week, they both looked ahead to week nine in this matchup. We're the best team in college football, we're told. And, uh, we got great respect for them. We know them awfully well. They know us awfully well. I, I think what they have shown is, is, and you would expect that, is that they're not impressed with us. I, I said it uh, yesterday that gauging by the way we played a year ago, I don't know why they would uh, be impressed with us. Bob Stoops with his very honest comments. My partner is Bob Greasy. I think Paul Duran, the linebacker for Oklahoma State, said it best. We're not scared of them, and that helps. And all those standings and those numbers we showed you about Oklahoma being ranked number one doesn't mean anything. We've got them on the field. Let's go play the game. It's going to be exciting. you got two of the top offenses in the nation, both in the top five, over, averaging over 40 points. Big players, Rashawn Woods. In this game, the last two years, he's caught 20 passes, four touchdowns, and 355 yards. He is a big play guy Oklahoma has to shut down. Jason White on the other side for Oklahoma. This is not the offensive line and running backs of yesteryear. This is wide receivers in deep passing, and Jason White is the one of the top passers in the country this year. We can actually say Heisman in his name in the same sentence, and everybody would sort of nod. Yeah. He's maybe the man that's the favorite right now. Tommy Harris, defensive lineman for Oklahoma, maybe said it best. It's not something we want to do. It's something we need to do. That's to beat Oklahoma State. They haven't in the last two years. John Terry and Craig in New York after this timeout, then we'll kick it. Bedlam and Norman coming up. Good morning, sunshine. Hey, oh, I found your tickets on the 50-yard line.